In today's video, we're going to have a look over Excel and some of the skills and knowledge that you require for the Level 3 Synoptic exam. So I hope it helps with your understanding, and let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up a new workbook, and you can see that I've done that already over here. So we're going to move to Sheet 1 and change the name of this sheet to Data. Then we're going to move to Cell A1 and call this Bookings. Next we're going to move to A2, call this client, and then we want week 1, week 2, week 3, in cells B2, C2 and D2. And next we're going to have the name of some customers in here, so let's have Smith & Sons Limited, let's have Wolf's Limited, Pinewood Limited, and Top of the Hill Limited. Next we're going to save the workbook as Exercise 1. So if we go to File and Save As, find where we want to save the document, and then call that Exercise 1. So now in stage two, we're going to do some formatting on the sheet. So we want to widen column A to allow for the longest entry in column A to show. So you can see these are currently overlapping. So if we double click on here, that then widens column A. We're going to insert a row below bookings here to improve the presentation. So we right click and click insert. Next to Smith & Sons, we're going to write the number 30 press enter and we're going to drag this along all the way to the end of week three as so and that's going to enter 10 8 15 next to pine wood we're going to enter 13 20 and 12 and we're going to copy this down into this below here so we're going to click right click copy and paste. Once again we're going to save this as exercise 1 so we don't need to save as, all we need to do is go file and save like that. Next we're going to get the spreadsheet to do some calculations for us so we don't have to do those manually. So in cell A9 we're going to enter totals and then in cell B9 is the first cell where we want to enter a formula that's going to total the bits above there. So it's going to total cells B4 through to B7, so we're going to use the sum function. So if we go equals sum, open brackets, and then select B4 to B7, close brackets and press enter. We're then going to copy this formula across into C and D, and then we're going to save this. So file and save. Next we're going to add another column in here. So in cell E3 we're going to call this average. And in cell E4 we're going to put the formula average in there. So if we type in equals average, open brackets, and then select B4 to D4, close brackets, and then we're going to copy this formula all the way down to E7. And then we're going to save the spreadsheet again. So file and save. Now we're going to modify what we've done on here. So we're going to create a second version of this. So we're going to create a new workbook called Exercise 2 with this data. So file, save as. And then let's name this exercise 2 and click save. So now we're going to amend some of the data that's in here. So in cell C5, that should have said 10 instead of 8. So we're going to change that. In cell D6, that should have said 14 and not 12. And we also want all of the text in row 3 to be capital letters instead. Thank you. 
and then I'm going to save the document, so file and save, or you can do control and S. Next we're going to add even more data to this spreadsheet, so what we're going to do is insert a column after week 3. So we're going to right click here in column E, insert, I'm going to call this week 4. Now the time bookings for each of these in week 4 is 9, so we're going to put 9 here and then we're going to copy this down between columns E4 and E7 as shown here using the copy and drag. Next we're going to copy this formula across, so the formula that's in D9 we're going to just copy that to E9. And we've also got another customer, so we're going to do an insert here in row 8, so right click, insert, and that's Bobby's Limited. And they have got 1, 2, 5 and 10. I'm just going to make sure that the formulas at the bottom include B4 to B8. And you can do this by either clicking on the formula or clicking on the cell and clicking F2. So we can see what they do and we can see that that averages to... The averages only actually include cell columns B to D so we're going to drag that along one to E. And we're just going to copy and paste that all the way down. And we can check again that that's covering all of the numbers here. And then we're going to save, so I'm just going to do Control and S this time. Okay, and now we're going to introduce even more formulas onto this sheet here. So we've decided that we don't want this average anymore, so we're going to delete that. So we're going to highlight F and we're going to right click and delete and instead we want total in here remember that needs to be a capital so now we want a sum total so if I again do equals sum and I select columns B to E close that and then drag that down there that will now equal the total of all of these here that you can see in columns B to E now these values here are net, so we want to work out what the total is, gross. So I'm going to write gross in column G, and it's standard 20% VAT on top, so I'm going to go equals F3 times by 1.2. And I'm going to drag that all the way down to G8, as you can see here, and then I'm going to save this. The very last thing that I'm going to do on here is just a little bit more presentation, so I'm going to change bookings to be a capsule. And then I want to change these so that, so that they're all shown as bold. And I'm going to use a table here to have all borders around each one of those. And next I want this to show a top and a bottom line. so. Let's go to borders again and go to top and bottom border, as you can see here. And then finally, I want columns F and G to be in bold also. So I'm just going to highlight F and G and click on bold. So I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribing and I shall see you on the next video.